banging motherfuckers. Gotta love Alaska. Driving through the snow in a rear wheel drive Mustang just to come make the gains. Uh, today is one of my favorite days at the gym. And can you guess what day that is? Leg day. That was sarcasm. <laughs> Officially cardio season as well. Got to make sure that you get your cardio in if you guys are trying to cut. It's cutting season. February has officially started. I've been cutting. So that's a new update for you guys and I'm going to be occasionally updating the, uh, the progress that I'm making on the whole cut. Making sure that I'm in a deficit. You guys make sure that you're in a deficit if you're going to be cutting to have the ultimate progress. Okay. Just up in a deficit. Get in your cardio. Right now I'm currently doing a uh, hit cardio and uh, started off doing uh, 200 calorie sessions which ain't really anything now I'm gonna bump it up to 300 calorie sessions and just progressively work my way up until I'm officially uh, done with this cat come back outside and the car is covered with snow already no studs, definitely not a good idea when you live here. But if you're a professional driver like me, then uh, you don't need studs. And when your windows look like this, you don't need the snow brush, you just go like this. Bam. Bam. Beautiful highway roads. Damn, look at that. Can't even see my freaking license plate. Get pulled over for that over here. Back home, made me a protein shake before I even left the house, but it was just too damn snowy to drink it in the car. Got some berries mixed up in there. Oh yeah, you know what guys? Bam, that's the stuff that I'm taking now. Muscle milk, 100% whey protein isolate. 27 grams of protein. I'm probably gonna make a whole separate video on a review of this stuff right here. Also to make it taste a little bit better, I got me some of these. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. Just take like a handful of those, slap them in the blender. I always mix my protein shakes with a little bit of milk. Just make sure that you're, uh, when you're cutting, you're not doing whole milk. I, uh, I do 2% milk, but fat-free milk would probably be the best. So at the start of this cut, I was at exactly 200 pounds. Got to cut down to, uh, I'm gonna cut down to about 185 pounds, see how my physique's looking, and then I'll go from there. All right, guys, and as for the meals, this is the kind of rice. This rice right here is the sticky white rice. Might want to go with brown rice, but hey, I like this kind right here. And you got to take it easy with rice, okay? I just made four ounces of rice right here. It was like damn near 400 calories just for the rice itself. So you can easily go over your uh, your calorie intake for the day if you're going to exaggerate it with your rice, okay? Fill up on stuff like this to help, uh, you know, fill your stomach up. Less calories and it's good for you. Got some uh, frozen broccoli right there. And I uh, just got some ground beef right here that I'm about to just cook up on this skillet. All right, guys, so everything's done. I just got done draining all the grease off the ground beef there. What I would highly recommend is you guys get yourself a scale. I'm measuring right now my ounces, and I'm using my Fitness Pal. Link for that will be down in the description below. So see, I already weighed this out. I already have, well, this is the bowl, and uh, it's, you know, the rice has water, so it's going to weigh more. But this rice was weighed out dry at four ounces went ahead and cooked it so i got four ounces of rice right there right so i'm gonna go ahead and clear out my uh my scale there i'm gonna just go ahead and add in my ground beef i should eat probably about half of this right now and then i'll eat the other half later there we 
go. A little bit more here. A little bit more here. Damn, spilling shit. That's probably good enough. Cause I got about 10 ounces of, uh, of beef right there. Maybe just a tad bit more. And I'm uh, just gonna eat half for now. Go ahead and steam up the broccoli. The best way to do it that uh, I've been doing lately is when I'm cooking the rice, what I'll do is I'll just uh, slap the rice in the rice cooker. And then there's another bowl that I put on top of the rice cooker and uh, put the broccoli in that, put the lid on top. So that way while the rice is being cooked, it's also steaming the broccoli. And then uh, it's all done within just, you know, one shot. Also guys, if you have not tried out this Sriracha hot sauce, you need to go down to the store and get you some because this shit makes a whole difference with making these healthy meals that don't have much flavor. You slap on a whole bunch just like that and it tastes so much better. I mean, the, the macros for this is good. Look at that. Zero calories, man. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next little while. Probably for, well, just until I start seeing some more progress. And if I have to alter a few things here and there, then so be it. Biggest thing is gonna be obviously the diet. And then second is the cardio. Doesn't matter how much cardio you're getting in if you are just going all shitty on your diet. So I'll keep you guys posted. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Become living proof. Also, don't forget to click that bell. That way you guys can be notified about all the content that's being dropped in this channel. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys pretty soon for another video. I'm making games, bro. Are you?